everyone, welcome to Global Japan, coming to you from Kenya. I'm here to find out how a Japanese medical tech company is working to overcome a chronic shortage of blood, with a key focus here in sub-Saharan Africa on saving mothers' lives. They were talking to me, asking how I was feeling, and I told them I was feeling tired, all my energy was drained, I couldn't talk. Giving birth to a third child last year almost cost Lillian her life. After undergoing a caesarean section in Nandi County, where she lives, she suffered a postpartum hemorrhage, heavy bleeding, and she needed a life-saving transfusion. When the doctor arrived and started attending to me, my entire body felt a sudden chill. My whole body went cold. After about 30 minutes, I started regaining my energy. If that blood had not been available, my newborn daughter would have grown up without a mother. Lillian survived, but globally, every day, more than 800 women die during pregnancy and childbirth, many of the causes preventable. Two-thirds of those maternal deaths happen here in sub-Saharan Africa, and up to nearly half of them are down to severe bleeding, with the demand for blood outstripping supply. Milana Mujeni is from Terumo Blood and Cell Technologies, part of Japan's Terumo Group. It provides technology and software in Africa for collecting and preparing blood and cells for treatments. Today, Filana is donating blood platelets via this automated Terumo BCT technology. From this needle, the blood is going to come out and go back to your body. Before it arrived, up to six donors were needed to generate one unit for a patient. Now, a single donor is enough. In Africa, we don't yet have a culture of donating blood, and this is for many reasons. Some of them are cultural, some are lack of awareness. Over 16,000 mothers' lives could be saved each year here in Kenya, Ghana and Ivory Coast, according to Terumo BCT research. That's if enough blood was available to treat postpartum hemorrhage, like that suffered by Lillian in Nandi. What it found is over and above the investment required and beyond the 16,000 lives saved, cost savings of over 20 million euro could be made annually by ensuring mothers have access to blood. Terumo BCT supports blood donor events like this one on International Women's Day in Kenya. It's also educating and training medical professionals in transfusion and to set up a pan-African coalition working to boost blood supplies. The provision of safe, adequate blood is a possibility in this country. The government has to work with our hospitals and all the private institutions to ensure that we have a robust donor registry and also to acquire technologies that will help them maximize the number of donors they have. We have solutions to actually maximize the potential of every unit of blood donated, automating processes, eliminating wastage, and making sure that more patients can actually be served by blood that's donated. These patient groups include mothers, but also cancer patients, trauma patients. Beyond that, we have other technologies that do things like reduce the transmission of malaria through blood transfusions. Meanwhile, back in Nandi, mother and baby are doing well. Joy is playful and is suckling just fine. She knows me. She is happy every time she sees me. I'm thankful. The experience I have gone through has helped me understand that when I regain my strength and my blood count is back to normal, I can donate to help others. 